guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Melissa Rodriguez and I'm an incoming first year medical student. In this channel, I'll make videos about medical school, pre-med advice, etc. And in today's video, we're talking about medical school interviews. I'm giving you guys some tips to do great on interview day and just how to prepare and just how to answer some questions as well. So if you find this interesting or that it will be useful, just give me a like and keep watching. school or also take a look at my entire medical school application i have videos on my channel for both of those and i also link it somewhere down below or right here thinking back i wish i had this video before actually going into the interviews because it just gives you a little bit more insight on on how to prepare okay so first let's talk about your attitude well if this is the day before your interview and you're scared honestly i was scared too but you need to please calm down right you are strong you are smart and you will come out with the best possible answer you need to believe this about yourself in order to come confident into the interview and if you're shy or, or overwhelmed um to be honest it's a little bit of fake it until you make it situation because you don't want to fake your personality but you want to fake a little bit of your confidence right because it's about um looking comfortable and competent because this is the vibe that you want to be giving the people who have the power to let you in, right? So be proud of yourself. You deserve the, to be there, right? So this is your spot. Another thing you should consider is demonstrating that you're kind and caring. So you have to be humble. Don't try to stand out among your fellow uh, interviewees. Remember, you want to take this chance also to get to know them. They might be your future classmates, right? And you have to demonstrate that you care by thinking about questions along the way. So do not be afraid to ask questions. Of course, you want to maintain a balance, right? You don't want to ask too many questions. But if you see that, that the presentation has ended and there's no other talking, po talking points left, you want to be asking questions. This shows that you're interested and that you're completely invested in their school. So this is a great way to show that and they actually like it. So you want to take advantage of your interview day, right? You want to gain as much information about the school as possible and you want to just enjoy this really special day, right? They prepare this day for you and your fellow interviewees. So you should feel really special. And about the outfit. So men can wear just normal formal pants and a suit jacket and a tie <laughs> and women um you can wear a blouse and also a suit as well but um i wore formal pants in all of my interviews but you can also wear a skirt if you want to right if you put something under it i'm going to insert some pictures of my interview outfit so you can see how i chose to wear what i chose to wear Think of this encounter as just another opportunity to give the schools more reasons of why they should choose you, right? So it is more about your personality and your energy. They're going to just write down extra stuff about you, how they like you as a person, right? So you want to show that you are friendly, be yourself, be caring and approachable also. It, just a person that you can talk to, right? So these are all the, the qualities that they will be looking for in a doctor, right? So now for what you want to do before entering your interview room, right? This is a little bit nerve wracking, but you need to just stay calm, take a breath. I do this exercise with my mouth that helps me articulate better because sometimes my words don't come out as like what I want to say don't, doesn't come out as smooth. So I do this exercise. <laughs> I don't know, it helps me, <laughs> like my words, they flow better. Prepare to feel uncomfortable so that if you are uncomfortable, you don't freak out, right? You don't, if you encounter a difficult time, you do not keep up in the middle of the interview. If, for example, sometimes you have to interview, is usually the case where you have two people interviewing you back to back. If you think that you did bad in the first one, you forget about it and you give it your 100% in the second one, right? This almost happened to me and I thought it, I, my first interview was a little bit, you know, 
off, but I didn't let it get to me. I went to the bathroom and got it together because you deserve every chance, right? You wanna just give it your 100% in every chance. For questions to ask your interviewers. At the end of your interview, they're always gonna ask you. So, uh, we are done for this interview. Do you have any questions for me? And you always should. You always have questions, right? So write down some questions that you may think that, that you may wanna ask them. And if not, I wanna give you some options. So you can ask them, tell me about what you love about the school. You can say, um, tell me about any common struggles or challenges that your medical students go through. Um, because you know, that, that shows that you care uh, and you don't wanna fail and, and you just wanna do good, right? And you can also say, what are some qualities that make a medical students successful in your medical program? Those are just questions that are, you know, shows that you care and that you prepare actually something for them. And I'm going to give you a question that it takes nerves, a little, it takes a little bit of nerves to ask, but I thought it was a perfect question. And I think it actually um, worked positively for me during my interview. And this is the hesitancy question. So for this question, um, you are going to put them to think. A little bit so you're gonna say based on this interview or this encounter is there anything that leaves you with hesitancy with giving me the opportunity to join your medical school or join your medical program and oof, this this question is a little bit you know like wow like what you just asked me like why should I accept you or why should I not and you're scared to ask it because you think that they may answer negatively, right? But they're, most most times they don't. And in the other hand, they're going to say positive things about you. They're going to, um, you know, like tell you why they thought you were a good applicant most of the time. And that shows confidence in your part. It shows self-awareness. It shows that you care about their opinion about you, which is really important because you like um, you know, constructive criticism and you just want to improve and grow from every experience. So I thought that was an excellent question to ask at the end so that they just stay with a positive outlook on, on your interview experience. You want to have thought out answers for the most common questions, right? And I'm not going to go and tell you like all the questions and everything, but you can look these common questions in Student Doctor Network or just by Googling them. But if you find, actually go find the questions that you feel that are hard and that you have really a lot of trouble answering and practice, practice, practice them. Go to sleep with them. Just go to your bed and think about the best possible way to answer this question, right? And that's the way that you're going to find the best possible answer that you have because you have your own experiences, right? And your own way of answering. Mock interviews help a lot too. Try to practice with someone that does not know you, but that knows about interviews. And I think that this type of people will give you the best feedback. And if you receive bad feedback, don't get discouraged. Just either you say it, but you don't have to change who you are, right? If you don't agree with some, with some feedback, it's okay. And if you think that your answer constitutes who you are, don't change your answer. This is really important for most of the interviews you gotta think about examples that could serve you to answer specific questions. So think about what you have done in the past that will help you explain your reasoning behind this answer. So what you have done in the past applies to the questions, right? So you're not only gonna give your opinion, but also what events led you to having that opinion. For example, for the question about time management, how do you manage your time with having too many things to do, right? So you want to give them um, the, the event that led you to finding the best time management strategy and tell them about it like a story. They often uh, connect more with your answers if you give them a story instead of just giving them your plain opinion. And for the tell me about yourself question, um, every school is going to ask you this question one way or another. And you just got to find um, just a simple, short answer, but that tells them about who you are and not your activities because they already read your activities, right? So they want to know who you are, how you are with people, how do you connect with others, how do you 
go about your life, you know? Okay, guys, so this is the end of this video. If you have further questions, don't forget to ask them down below. Consider subscribing to my channel. I will upload most times, like, every week or twice a week with more new videos and i always answer everybody in the comments down below and don't forget to ring the bell for the notifications so that you know every time that i upload and also like my channel and share it with your pre-med friends so yeah i'll see you in the next video